People keep asking for workout videos here on the channel, so I thought, let me just go ahead and post an actual real workout. Nothing fancy, I'm just here in my garage, uh, getting ready to do a light push day, nothing too heavy. I'm gonna warm up and we're just gonna go through the full routine and this will have minimal edits. I'm gonna try to edit as least as possible. So what you see is what you get. It's supposed to start raining here in a little while and it's supposed to rain for like days. So hopefully uh, I can finish this workout before it rains because I'm in a garage and it'll make a lot of noise when the rain starts, I think. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start warming up with the bar and let's just pump some iron. So I'm gonna start with the bar. This is an Olympic bar, just uh, 45 pounds, ah, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get the blood flowing. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, nice and easy. 20 reps on the bar, just getting the blood flowing, really lightweight. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, a little bit of weight to do another warm up set, just so you see. I got all this stuff on Amazon, by the way. I'll leave links in the description in case you want to uh, check any of this stuff out. All right, let's do a couple more, a couple more reps. Still a warm up set here. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do 16. Lightweight, lightweight, lightweight. And that was uh, 16, 16, uh, 16 reps. And I'm gonna wait maybe less than a minute. Let me check the time. Try to keep this fairly fast paced because trying to beat the rain here. All right, 9.55, so I've got a little bit of time. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna add 20 more pounds. I've got some big 45s, but I wanted to start low. I don't want to do too heavy of a workout today. Yesterday I did uh, legs, and then the day before that uh, I did pull. Okay, so I've added some more weight to the bar here. I'm gonna go ahead and do another set here for you all. Uh, so you see how I work out. All right, I gotta try to do 12 reps here. <sighs> That's 12. That's 12. All right. Hopefully, I'm not drowning out the mic here with the breathing. Uh, hopefully, it's not too loud. Looks like I'm not uh, making too much noise here with the breathing. I'm going to add a little bit more weight here. I'm going to add, uh, yeah, a little bit more weight. Let's add 20 more pounds. And I'm going to try to get eight reps this time. I've got um, safety catches on this thing so I can roll the bar, so I can catch the bar. I'm going to show you how that works. Uh, maybe when I'm done with this set, I'll show you how to do that in case you're curious. But basically, this catches the bar. So like if I fail, I should be able to roll it back. Uh, and prevent injury. Oh, I'm feeling not warmed up. It's cold out here. All right. Next time I'll wear a sweater. All right. I actually got a little stove over there. You can't see it, but uh, I need to get wood in there to uh, heat it up because winter is coming. All right, lightweight, lightweight. Here we go. That's it. 
One more. Lightweight. Ah, lightweight, lightweight. There we go. That's it. That's how you do it. All right, I'm gonna drop the weight. Let me uh, show you how to do the safety catches. I'm gonna show you that really quick. So I'm just gonna take these off. And uh, show you how that works. So this power rack, in case you're curious, has these catch bars. <clears throat> And basically what you can do is if you are, well, you don't want to do that. I just dropped a, a plate on the floor. If you're benching and you get stuck, let me show you what happens. I've got the mic on, so I got to make sure I can do it with the mic. Say I'm benching. I'm like, oh no, I can't do it. I'm weak. I can basically roll the bar back. See how it's on my neck now? Look, no hands, but the bar is not on my neck. And then I can basically get out from under here, like this, and I can escape. You see that? So that's the safety feature that you have uh, with this power rack, right? So always be careful, but you see how the bar is here now. So it's just a safety feature that power racks have. This is a really nice power rack. It looks really fancy and stuff, but um, this is like the cheapest power rack on Amazon. All right, it's like the cheapest one you can get. So, yeah, they have really nice ones. And they have cheaper ones, but they don't come with all the stuff that this comes with, right? This has a pulley system, which we're gonna use later because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do a full workout here. So you can see uh, how I work out. This is my third day in a row of uh, working out. As I mentioned yesterday, I did legs. And legs are really, I'm really weak at legs. I'm really weak in gym, I'm not that strong. Uh, but I watch my diet. I watch what I eat. I eat very clean. I'll try to make some videos about my diet and what I eat and all that stuff in case you're curious because I think this is just a very small part of physique. Physique is really um, it's diet. They, you know, you can't outrun a bad diet, as they say. It's diet, diet, diet. Training is important and, you know, all that stuff, but <clears throat> I'm still fairly new to training. All right. Oh, I'm doing, dropping the weight here. I'm going to go back down to uh, talking too much. i got to focus. I'm going to go back down to just these, and I'm going to do 16 again. So I'm going to do 16, 12, 8, 16, 12, 8, 16, 12, 8. So I'm going to do nine sets here on the bench press. So I've done three. Let's go ahead and do 16 more. Let's try to pick up the momentum now. Talk less, lift more, right? Got to get to work. Got to get to work, people. Let's get to work. Get to work. Yeah, lightweight. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to feel strong now. Now I feel warming up. Three. All right. I got in Spanish. Seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Das. I think that was 16. All right. I'm going to do, add 10 more now. I'll do 16, 12, 8. 16, 12, 8. Some people work out with music. I, uh, I have this friend, he's a power lifter, and if I post this video, <laughs> I mean, if you're watching it, that means I've posted it, he, uh, he's, a he's a competitor, he's a professional, he's, he competes, and he always says that he listens to music, he runs with music, he uh, works out with music, and uh, I... Uh, I can go either way. I can, I can, I can leave the music or I can go with the music. Uh, I'm pretty good at just using my mind to motivate myself. And I think that's just a result of studying mathematics. You know, when you, when you're working on math, I mean, you can listen to music to help you study, but like you really got to focus 
And so I think it builds mental strength. And I think it, I really think it helps you with the weightlifting. Checking my time here. I should put a timer on so I can time my sets. Let's see if I have a stopwatch app because I want to keep the pace up. Here we go, clock. And let's just put a timer on. And I'll just put like a, an hour timer so I can just, 59 minutes, it's fine, okay. All right, I'm gonna wait like 30 more seconds and then hit 12 reps here. Still warming up, you know? I like this 16, 12, eight because it kind of like, you know, it gets the blood flowing. You know, you do 16, 12, eight, then you, then you drop back down and you do more reps, you feel stronger when you get that, that 16, instead of just going straight up, 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 up. Also, it lets me keep the pace a little bit faster. I can't wait till it starts raining. If it starts raining during this workout, you'll hear, I think it's been 30 seconds. You'll hear it. Let's go. Funny, I've got these really big giant plates, which I could put on those big red ones. Uh, one of those big red ones is equal to what I'm about to add here. They just look a lot smaller. Let's go ahead and keeping the reps high though. You notice I'm not doing anything less than eight reps. I'm not doing any ego lifting. I'm not doing like five reps or three reps of heavier weight. I'm keeping the weight low and I'm doing lots of volume. Lots of reps. Let me see how many seconds I'm at. All right. See, I've got a timer. So it said 57.02 on my phone. So try to keep it at less than a minute or a minute or so rest. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Today is, uh, is Sunday. I don't have to do anything other than clean. Do a lot of cleaning today. And uh, maybe maybe post this video, right? Maybe edit this and post it. Because uh, I had to I had to stop the camera a couple times to fix the angles. But uh yeah. Fresh air. I'm in a garage, but the garage is open, so I could, I could breathe the air. I'll stay by getting some bookshelves in here and doing some mathematics. I have a desk over there. It's an old, old wooden desk, so I can sit there. It's actually next to a fireplace. It's like a like, workout, sit next to the fire, do some mathematics. That just sounds like uh, an idyllic life. All right. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Eight more, eight more. Ah! That's how you do it. I drop the weight now again, do 16. Gotta do nine sets. Nine sets. Nine sets. This is just the beginning of the workout. Some people work out less, some people work out more. Some people will say, you know, X amount of sets for a body part is adequate. I don't, uh, I don't believe in adequate. 
I don't believe in that. I, uh, I'm a person that overdoes it. And as much as I talk about balance, and I think that in order to get results, you have to take it to the next level. And if you do adequate, you're going to get adequate results. If you want exceptional results, I feel like you have to put in exceptional work. That's just, you know, if you want to do better than average, I feel like you need to put in more than average. So, so yeah, I don't know. It's just my, uh, my thinking. I don't know if it's right or wrong. It's just my thinking. All right. <sighs> Feeling it. Ah. <sighs> I got to get uh, someone else in here working out with me. Do like a, a dual workout with some of my friends in here. Do like a, like a workout team. <laughs> it's nice outside. All right, 16. I'm going to do 16 now. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> <sighs> One more sixteen. Ah, I did those pretty quickly. Add some weight. I do twelve. These clips are pretty good. I'll try to leave links to uh, all the gear I'm using here in uh, the description of this video. I bought. I bought all of this. Yeah, all of this. Everything here. Even like an extra chain and an extra hook. All of this on Amazon. Everything you see here, except the posters. They sell that one on Amazon. I saw that Arnold poster. So I'll put that one in the description, but I, I bought it on eBay. <clears throat> uh, but if I would have known they sold it on Amazon, I would have bought it there because the one on Amazon has these little holes. These little, I think they're called grommets. So you can use it to hang it up and it's not a big deal. You can't really see it. But if I were to zoom in on this poster, this Arnold poster here, well, it didn't cause any problems, but on that one it did. Um, it kind of folds it in. So the grommets do make it a little bit easier to hang. Whoo, feeling it now. Two more sets. I feel a little weak here. We, after this, we're going to move the bench around. I'm going to do some incline presses with the barbell. And then I'm not going to do any dumbbell work, not, not any dumbbell pushes today. Uh, We'll do flies after that. So we're starting with nine sets of flat barbell bench. That's what we're doing here. And then we're going to switch to incline. So a lot of volume. That's why I'm keeping the weight. I'm not, I'm not trying to max out. I'm not doing any ego lifts. That's, I, I just, I don't want to do that. Uh, those days are just focus on quantity, quality too. I'm lifting pretty quickly here. Let's wait here. All right, here we go. Twelve. <sighs> Starting to get a little bit of a pump. I had a small breakfast. I had uh, a tablespoon of olive oil, two pieces of toast, a small yogurt, a handful of blueberries, 88 grams, blackberries, 88 grams of blackberries, and a protein shake, grass-fed whey isolate. So. Oh, and I had a cup of coffee with milk and some honey. So the whole breakfast with the, with the coffee. Uh, I mean, I had the coffee, then I waited a while, then I had the breakfast. Uh, it was under 700 calories, you know. So not, not a huge breakfast, not like a thousand calorie breakfast, but I try to eat a decent breakfast every morning. Some healthy fats and stuff. All right, back to lifting. Hus! Got to psych myself up here. Yeah. Oh, I'm starting to feel stronger. Ah, 
I could, I could do like five more, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to do one more. I don't know where I got that burst of energy. I feel like I'm starting to really get into it. So a lot of these sets, you know, they really should be warm-up sets. You could, pro I could probably do several more sets on the bench. You could probably count some of those first three sets as almost as warm-up sets. And, you know, because if you're going to be doing like, what is that, like five by five starting strength, that's a really popular one that I've never done for a long period of time. You know, you, you do got to warm up. You do want to warm up, so. But I like this 16, 12, 8. It's a good way to warm up and still get some sets in. I'm still going to do some incline presses after this. And then I'll do some dumbbell flies. Then we're going to do some rope work because we've got cables here with a rope. So I'm going to show you the ropes, like some actual pull downs and stuff. I'll, I'll switch the camera angle so you can see better. We'll do some rope pull downs and some overhead uh, pulls. And then uh, we'll do some, some lateral and some front raises to finish. But we've got one more set on this flat bench. Let me get some water here. I know my, my rest between my sets hasn't been perfect. It's funny, I feel a pump. I'm starting to feel pumped. My biceps feel pumped. I'm not even working my biceps, I guess indirectly, but like they feel, feel pumped just from from the volume, you know? I like these posters. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Conquer. The worst thing I can be is the same as everybody else. I love that, I love that. I basically typed in Arnold posters onto eBay and I found these. I thought I should get some stuff for my gym here because I have a local gym I go to, which is, which is a great gym. I actually, uh, I went there yesterday to train legs at my local gym. I did not do squats here yesterday. I went there with a friend, uh, long story, but the gym was more convenient. Um, she wanted to do um, cardio and it was raining. So we went to the gym to do cardio and I just did legs instead. So anyways, I uh, forgot what I was saying about my local gym. I, I work out there sometimes. They have a Smith machine. <sighs> Hopefully this motivates some of you all to work out and stuff, you know, uh, if I post this. I think uh, posting real workouts is good because, you know, on the internet, there's a lot of stuff about, I, I don't know, a lot of fake stuff, you know, a lot of fake stuff with the fitness influencers, which, which is okay. I mean, fake stuff is okay as long as you know it's fake, right? This is just my real workout. All right. One more set. Eight reps. And then we get to do incline. I got to adjust the bench for incline. Might take me a little bit, but we're going to do it because this is just a real video. Oh, yeah. <sighs> That's five. One more. Ah. All right, all right, that's it for the flat bench. That's nine sets of flat bench. Let's go ahead and move this around. And we're gonna switch to, we're gonna switch this up to, incline bench, incline bench. I gotta move the bar, so I'm gonna take these these off. These are actually 25 pounds. I don't think these are a lot. I mean, they're they look small, but um, I like the tri grip on these. It's really nice. You get like a tri grip, easy to carry. Those big red bumpers, which I have, which I'm probably not gonna use today, but I could have used them for this. But then I would have had to take off 25s, and it would have been a lot more work. Um, those are really nice. Let's, uh, let's leave this here for now. And uh, I'm gonna move the camera back here a little bit. Hello. All right, there we go. 
All right, there we go. And then now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna move the bench out. I've got the bench backwards here. Because the bench, if I don't put it backwards, uh, it, uh, it hits the back of the thing and I can't get my head back far enough, which is kind of annoying. That's the only downside of this uh, gym setup. So I have it in backwards for the flat bench. Otherwise, my head is not like fully supported on the bench. It's some weird thing. So let's turn this around. All right, let's turn this around to do uh, incline. And I forgot how high I go on this. Again, normally I work out at a local gym. This is a fairly new setup, uh, this home gym. Um, I've only had, I've only worked out here in this home gym. I think it's nine, maybe it's 10. Uh, a few times, only a few times have I worked out in this home gym. And then let's go ahead and get the bar up here. So you see how to do that, so. Nice and slow. One of the bad things about putting videos like this on the internet is that it's so real that you get a lot of criticism, which is fine. People always criticize, I always get haters for everything. I think, I think, this, is, I think this is where I want it. I'm pretty sure, I had a little setup here, I'm trying to remember. I think that's it, let me, let me just try it here with the bar. Let's see if it's, yeah, I think a little, a little farther back. I think that's it there. Yeah, that's it there. That's it there. So no safety catches this time. I think that's it there. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Ah, ah, just the bar. Ah, oh, I don't want to touch my microphone, so I don't want to go all the way down. Ah, okay. That's good. Okay. Mic's still on. All right. So let's go ahead and load up some weight here. Let's just put on the 25s again. Just a little bit of weight. Just, I'm just gonna do three sets. Nothing crazy. I've already done nine sets. Nine sets of flat bench. So, we're gonna do at least three sets of incline. And this is my third day in a row of working out, so I'm pretty spent. Yesterday I, uh, I, I did legs, and then I spent all day out. I went out, um, you know, it was Saturday. So I went to a restaurant, I did a bunch of stuff, you know, and it's, it's good, it was good. It's just a busy day. Ah, there we go. Ah, ah, ah. and slow. I don't know how many that is, but that's good. Nice and nice little, nice work there. To add some more weight to that. Hmm. Let's add a little bit more weight. Feeling pumped, starting to feel really pumped. That's one of the nice things about working out is the pump. I just, the volume gives me that, gives me that pump. This water bottle's awesome. So I drink two of these every day. Really helps. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Lightweight. Ronnie Coleman always says that lightweight, except he's a lot bigger. Ah.
nice wind outside. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is how we do it. Never quit. Ah! Lightweight. There we go. One more set. I think I'm just going to do one more set. I rest a little bit before I do that next set because that was, was pretty intense. Then we'll do some flies. No, no, we'll do, uh, yeah, flies. We'll do flies. After this, we'll do some flies. And then we'll do some, some rope work. But let's do at least one more set on here. Tomorrow is pull day. So this is push day. So tomorrow I'm going to do pull. Well, tomorrow I'm either going to surf, do pull day, run or do pull day and run. That, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow, uh, depending on how much time I have, right? But I, I, I don't like to surf and lift weights or surf and run. Once I surf, that's it, game over. That's, I'm done. And I think the waves tomorrow are supposed to be really big. Plus, I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. So surfing is like, really kicks my butt. More, more than this. Especially the way I surf. I surf like a beginner. So I'm always in the, in the white water. Here we go, another set. Ha! Ah, yeah, that's it. Get that strength. Feels so good. Ah, got a bit of a wider grip this time, so it's like really working the chest. Ah, ah. Oh, I almost think I should do another set. I know I said I was going to do three, but oh, hopefully this uh, keeps recording. Let me see how long this video has been. Quite a bit, quite a bit. I think I'm going to do another set. I'll just keep recording, I keep going back and forth whether I should post this because, you know, this is a real workout. You don't see many real workouts on the internet. One, I think maybe people don't find them entertaining. Um, two, there's nothing flashy here, right? This is just my garage. I painted this wall with some paint I got and a roller. I mean, I'm not even good at painting stuff. Um, I don't know. It's real. I'm gonna do another set because that's how, that's how you get big, right? What, is it, what does Ronnie Coleman say? What does he say? Everyone wants to be a bodybuilder, but no one wants to lift no heavy ass weight or something like that. I can't say that word on this channel. This is a G-rated channel. Here we go. Where's this energy coming from? What a rush. Okay, I think that's good. I think we should switch. 
to something else. Let's go ahead and reorganize here. So we're done with this bench. We're gonna be using another bench now. So I bought another bench on Amazon, another one. So you have two benches, I do. I bought the cheapest, the cheapest bench that has a decline setting on Amazon. And I could have gotten a flat bench, but I bought this one just because it was really cheap and it had a decline. And I bought it so I could set my heavy dumbbells on. I've got, I've got, a, I've got a set of, I got these used, of Ivanko commercial dumbbells. I have, I have 80s. Uh, let me show you. I've got, they're over here. I have 80s. Uh, I think 85s and 95s, yeah. And these dumbbells are uh, commercial dumbbells. They have like the, as you saw, it's like the plates are like, they put the plates on there. Like, um, they're, they're like, they're not like solid hexagonal or solid round dumbbells. They have like plates on there. And these Ivankos, um, they're heavy. I didn't want to put them on this bench. This is a really expensive bench. This bench here, I spent a lot of money on it. I had to put it on my credit card. It's really, it's like, it's like a $350 bench or something like that. It's ridiculous, but it's really good. It's really heavy duty and I wanted a heavy duty bench. So uh, I got this one. I used to have another bench. I used to have workout gear because I used to work out years ago, but I moved and I gave all my stuff to my friend. So it's like, I wanted to start over and get my own stuff. So I thought, well, let me get good stuff. So that's why I got that. All right, so this is my other bench. This is the one I was telling you that I bought on Amazon. It was the cheapest bench on Amazon. This is it here. I'm just gonna set this here. I guess I'll do this so you could see. All right, and then I'm just gonna do like some flies here. And we're just gonna do uh, this here, these little weights here. I don't even know how much this is. It's more than 30 pounds though, I think. Um, these are from Amazon. They're called Yes For All Weights. That's the brand. And again, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, this. Do some flies, okay. Now the orange ones are vintage weights that I painted, but the black plates you see and the actual handles I got on Amazon. Whew. Whew. Budget level, really cheap. They work though. Ugh. I don't wanna go too far down with the flies. Just, ah. Ah. I wasn't even counting. Let's do 10 more. One, two, three. Ah. 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 I lost count. I lost count. Oh, wow. Nice flies. Wow. That was crazy. I'm going to set them up here and then uh, rest. A minute or so, I'm gonna do 20 more. I'm gonna do three sets of flies. So we did nine sets of flat bench. I think I, I, think I did four sets of incline. I don't remember. Uh, but normally I do three sets of incline. This is minimum, minimum. And then three sets of flies. All right, so nine, three, three. We're at 15 sets here. Now the weight is not insane. These aren't like, you know, really heavy, carefully, you know, slow form heavy sets. They're just, sets and you can see like those first nine sets some of them could have been warm-up sets so i did the bar too i don't know if i recorded that it's been a long workout there we go all right ah all right all right these twist on these dumbbell handles. I'm always paranoid things are gonna fall on me, you know, so I'm just safety first. All right. 
Let's do another set here. This. Go too far down. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I think that's sixteen. I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Get that second wind. I think that's 20, I'll believe it, it's 20. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've got these mats here. These were mats were here when I moved in. These are like um, garage work mats. You can get mats on Amazon though. Oh, oh, feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. All right. So that's two sets. We're gonna do one more, one more set. People ask about protein powder. This is, I'll link this in the description too in case you want to check it out. This stuff is expensive though. But honestly, I think I talked about this before. I don't know if I did. Uh, uh, but I bought like a ton of protein powders um, during Prime Day uh, last summer. And I have a bunch of them left. This is the best one right here. So this one, this bottle is empty. I, I bought another bottle uh, that's in the house, but I wanted to bring that one out here to show you because that is good stuff. It's isolate and people say like, oh, you can just get any protein powder or whatever, blah, blah, whatever, you know, that's fine. You know, people say that about multivitamins. They're like, oh, multivitamins don't really do anything. I, I Googled, do multivitamins help you? And I went on Reddit and there's this long thread and the consensus is, you know, the comment that had the most upvotes was some guy saying multivitamins don't do anything, blah, 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 blah. I noticed a difference when I started working out seriously about, it's been, it hasn't been five months yet, about four months ago when I started really working out, I lost a lot of weight, started to get in shape. It's been about four months now. Actually, it hasn't even, been, it hasn't been, it's been like three and a half months. And uh, I started taking a multivitamin. Game changer. And it was just like a regular multivitamin. It's like the men's health, like just a generic one from Amazon. I'll, I'll, I'll link it. And I, I just, I noticed a difference. I could d distinctly tell. And I think it's because my calories were low and I was working out so much. So I was missing nutrients. So by taking that multivitamin, maybe I just, I feel like my body was getting stuff it wasn't normally getting. So I noticed an immediate difference. Immediate. I'm, I'm, I guarantee, I, I noticed a difference. So I remember reading that on Reddit and thinking, these people, they're saying it doesn't work. But here, I'm taking a multivitamin. I can tell the difference in, my, in the way I feel, my strength, everything. Um, so yeah, for me, it was, it was a game changer. But you know, I was dieting, um, you know, slight caloric deficit, definitely more of a caloric deficit than I'm in now. I'm pretty much at maintenance now. Um, and yeah, just uh, makes a big difference. All right, here we go. One more set of flies, and then we're gonna go do some rope stuff. This is gonna, the rope stuff is fun. And then maybe we'll do some presses. 20 more reps.
yeah, that's it. One more. Ah. There we go. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay. So that was three sets of flies. So recap what we've done so far. Nine sets of flat bench, uh, three sets of incline, even though I did four, which is to say three, because I did a little bit more of everything. And then three sets of flies. That's my minimum. Minimum, right? Minimum. It's the bare minimum. I might go for a run today. My legs are feeling pretty good. Last time I ran, I ran like 3.2 miles which wasn't too far. And I really want to get in like a good, like six mile run, at least six miles. I like a long, like a long, comfortable, long, comfortable run. It's something that I'm kind of craving, but it's going to start raining here. It's going to start raining. And once it starts raining, that's it. So we're doing cable work now, right? That's what we're doing. So let me move this bar out of the way. Let me show you what that's about. So I'm going to have to move the camera here. So for the cables, we're doing stuff with the rope today. So here's, here's the rope attachment. Let's come a little closer so you can see. You can see here. So here's my rope attachment. So I'm going to attach this. Okay to this. Okay. And then I'm going to add some weight. So the weight goes on those bars there. So we're going to do, um, got to be careful here. So first I'm going to do pull downs. So for the pull downs, I can put the 25s on push downs, rather push downs, rope, tricep rope, push downs. That's what they're called. So, and then I can probably add a little bit more weight after this. I'm not going to do too much weight. I'm not that strong. I just watch my diet and train. A lot of people are a lot stronger, but their body fat is higher. So it covers the muscle. If you have a lower body fat, it shows your muscle more. So, um, so I'm going to move the camera so you can see a little bit better. Let's try to put it over here. So you could see. Okay. I think you can see here. So what we're doing, let me come, let me you come over here. That's a little bit better there, right? And then, so we're just going to do rope push downs. So stick your, stick my butt out. And then, oh, I should say, I'm not a doctor, right? So I get the triceps. I slipped. All right, that's one. Two more sets. I feel like the angle is not right here. So you can get a better look. There we go. <clears throat> I think I'm going to leave it at 50 here and then do another set at 50. Get some water. I might, I might not count that as a set. I might do three more. I have a hard time building up my triceps. This guy at the gym, he's a bodybuilder. He's one of my friends at the gym. And sometimes he's there when I work out. He's huge. He's like, you got to build your triceps, man. He's a he's big, he's big, big Russian dude. Big dude. He's really cool. But he's been training for like, I don't know, years, years, right? I mean, I've, I've been doing this for three and a half months, right? Seriously, right? Three and a half months before that had been years before I really lifted. Here we go. But I'm doing the workout. I'm eating the right foods. Being consistent. It's consistency. I'm pushing hard. Oh, 
it burns. Two more. Oh, yeah. I feel it right here and right here. But it's the diet, the water, the sleep, the consistency of training, right? Those are the things I think that you need. It's not just one element. The diet is a big part because I always tell my friend this. It's really easy to eat a lot of food and go to the gym and lift a lot of weight. It's easy, right? You go to McDonald's, you get a hamburger, you get a shake, you feel great, you have all these calories, you go you know, pump up some weight and get strong. But like, if you want to look good, if you want to look in shape, you have to watch the diet, right? And that's the hardest thing for people because when you are watching your diet, you're restricting calories, you're controlling calories, that affects your strength levels, it affects your mood, it affects your energy levels, it affects your testosterone levels, it affects everything, right? You want to make sure you get enough fats. At the same time, you know, you don't want too many fats. Now, I don't watch macros. Uh, I'm not a macro guy. I don't, I don't go that far. But my macros are pretty consistent based on the foods I eat, which is kind of shocking. I usually have less than 70 grams of fat every day, no matter what. Uh, it's not, and it's not on purpose. It's just what I eat, you know? Um, so, yeah. Plenty of protein. I have a lot of protein. Still hasn't started raining here yet. I'm still waiting for it to rain. I'm kind of looking forward to the rain. Too much talking, more working, or less talking, more working. There we go. That's better form. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more of those. So now I'm gonna take some weight off for this next exercise because this next exercise is brutal. Brutal. It is a brutal exercise. <sighs> brutal. Sound like that guy, what's his name? He was popular, I don't know if he still is. He says water when he talks. He's always on Instagram, or used to be. Oh, I forgot his name. Tate, that was the guy. He says, water. He's a funny, funny voice. All right. I'm just going to put 20 pounds on here. That's it. Just 20 pounds. Not a lot of weight here, okay? This is not enough weight, but I might count this as a warm-up set, and I'm going to... I'm gonna put one foot forward, not both, just in case something happens to my equipment, I can catch myself. One, nice and light. Two, three, four. This is a warm up set. I'm not gonna count this one. Okay, that's good. All right, now I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add 10 more pounds. So I'm gonna use these. These are some weight plates I haven't used today. These are really cheap. These are Balance From, from Amazon. I've got some really nice RitFit ones too. Those are expensive though. They're like rubber plates. Those are really nice. I wanted to get bigger ones, but they are so expensive. But you can tell like why they're expensive when you pick them up. They have really good grip. They're better than the, than the cap ones I'm using, but I've only got, maybe I'll show them to you later. Let's just lift. Ah, oh, that's a lot heavier. Twelve good. Normally at my gym, whenever I work out at the gym at my local gym, what I'll do is I'll superset these. I'll do, I'll do the rope push down, and then I'll do that one, and I'll do three sets of supersets. But here, uh, the structure of this machine makes it harder to do the supersets. You know what I realized for this video is I should have put some lighting in here. I have lights, and I forgot that this is a video, so it'd be a little more light on my face. It's really dark, and all the shadows are on my face. It would look better if it was lighter in here, but hey, this is how I normally work out, right? I don't have lights. There's no studio lights. 
This is my garage lights. Ah. Oh, wow. Feeling it. Feeling it. Feeling it. I'm going to have a nice post-workout shake. I went to a store. It's called Trader Joe's. It's a great store. I love that store. It's so good. I got a bunch of fruit. That's it. Here we go. Second wind. <clears throat> Round two. Da -da. Da -da. Oh yeah, I don't know where I got that strings from. Sometimes, you know, I get to that last rep and it's just like, you get this like this, like surge of strength that comes from I don't know where. I just, ah, it's great. I don't know where that comes from, but I'll take it. One more set. What a pump. What a pump. What a pump. I love working out. I was thinking my friend, my, my powerlifting buddy, when I post this, if I, if I post this, I'm totally going to share it with him. He's going to love this. Uh, he, because uh, I'm talking about him, he, uh, he's, doing, he's doing AM and PM workouts now. So he gets up and he works out. He gets up at 4.30 in the morning. He goes to the gym. And then he goes to work all day. He's an engineer. And then, and then after work, he'll go to the gym or he'll go for like a four mile run. I mean, just awesome. Just so much motivation. He's undefeated in his competitions, but he's only had one. Technically, I'm undefeated. I, had a, I actually had a race. I ran my first 5K and I won, which is like, wow. But I think the only reason I won was uh, all the really good runners, I think they were doing like the 10K and the half marathon. So one more set, one more set. I'm going to put my right foot forward this time. Normally I lean forward like this, but this machine, again, I'm not saying it's a bad machine. I just, just in case, if it falls or something, if like if the rope breaks, it's not going to break, but my form's off. The rope is not level. See, we're going to start over. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do, now we're gonna do some other type of work. We're gonna do some dumbbell work now. So we're done with the rope work for now. So I'm gonna take the rope down and then I'm gonna do, so normally I finish with um, lat raises and front raises, so we'll do that. And I'm gonna do my lat raises with too much weight. So with bad form and I think that's okay. I'm warmed up. You know, people talk about form a lot, slow control movements. I mean, it's important, but sometimes it's important to go a little crazy too. I mean, you watch some of those old videos with Arnold. He's swinging his back. I mean, the point is to work the muscle, not get hurt. Listen to your body. So we're going to start with lat raises with these yes for all dumbbells with bad form. I'm going to bend over because I, I don't want to incorporate my biceps. It's kind of like, Huh, like that. Huh. 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 Swinging it. Huh. Huh. That's good. That's good. Set those down on my bench. We're going to superset that with these front raises with these vintage BFCO dumbbells. Uh, lots of bend, lots of swing. Uh, uh. Ah, 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 feel pretty light. Ah, 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 okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. So that's one of the reasons I use this bench. Uh, the one I'm using here, I mean, this, this Lusper bench on Amazon, because I put my weights on it, you see? Whereas my other bench, the nice one, that I was benching on from Rep Fitness. It was just so expensive. I had to spend so much money. I mean, 370 bucks, it's a lot of money to me. That's, you know, I'm not rich, it's a regular person. So, 
but honestly, here's what happened. So I wanted to get a phone to make videos for YouTube. It's a true story. I'll just tell you why not. And so the phone I'm using to record this is really cheap. It's a $50 phone. It's a $50 iPhone because I got it for 50 bucks because I did like this thing where like I left the carrier and came back. It's an old iPhone SE. And uh, I wanted to get the new iPhone. So I bought the best iPhone with like a terabyte and it was like $1,800. And I'm like, no, <laughs> when I got it, I was like, no, what have I done? So I returned it and I was like, well, I really want to get a gym. And so I started building this gym. I got everything you see here and more that you haven't even seen because I have more stuff for less than an iPhone. And I was like, what's going to bring more quality to my life? An iPhone, so my picture quality is a little bit better, or a gym so I can train my body. To me, it was a no-brainer, a gym. And I'll just keep using my old iPhone until I can upgrade at some point, you know? But So yeah, so compared to the cost of an iPhone, all of this is, you know, it's just nuts. It's crazy. All right, lat raises, another set, another super set. Here we go. Yeah, that's it. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whew. Super set. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. One more superset and then we'll be done. How long has this been? Oh, I've been recording for a while, over an hour. <sighs> and this is, I haven't posted this yet and I don't know if I'm going to, but if you're watching this, right now my camera says 59 minutes. There was two other cuts at the beginning. I think I had like a warm up session or something. So, <clears throat> So over an hour, over an hour, Let's see what time it is. I've still got time. It's not supposed to start raining yet, but it's going to start raining. I'm really waiting for that rain. Oh, I'm feeling it. I think I'm going to do some shoulder work after this. Hopefully my, my, hopefully this phone is really old. So hopefully the memory doesn't run out. <laughs> so I only have so much storage rather the storage. All right, get back to work. Less talking, more work. Ready to work out. Yes. Push day. Second wind. Yeah, I feel it. Wow, what a rush. What a rush. I don't know where that comes from. Here we go. That's it. That's it. Okay, no more of those. That's good. Air. No more of those. Oh, what next? Oh, what next? Maybe, hmm, maybe some presses. I don't know. Let's see. Let me just put these down. See how I feel. Today is Sunday, so now that I think oh, I'm not done with the workout, I'm not done with the workout. We're not done. We're not going to just quit. I really want to finish so I can like decide whether or not to post this video. Post it. I got to edit it. It'll take forever to edit, even if I just like edit three clips together. My computer's really slow, so it'll take like a long time to like actually you know, edit. So I think we're going to do some, some, I want to do some shoulder work. So I'm going to do some presses. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the bench in here. I'm going to use my good bench. I thought I heard thunder. It's not supposed to thunder. That's scary. At least we're indoors, right? I'm going to 
safe garage uh, or garage as the as the Brits say. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the bar here. I'll have to move the camera. I think the bar is a little bit too high. It's a great power rack, right? It's awesome. Totally recommend it. I actually put the whole thing together by myself. It wasn't perfect putting it together. Um, I have, you wanna have a, a ratchet set, it helps, and a tape measure because some of the screws, you can't tell if they're 65 or 70 milliliters. It's like a technicality. All right, let's come over here. Let's change the camera angle so you can see the pressing. Okay, and uh, just gonna start with the bar just to make sure it's the right height. It's gonna do seated presses here. That's good. I think I'm gonna go with the wider grip. I feel like I'm using my biceps too much. So I'm gonna go with the wider grip. I'm gonna move the camera back just a little bit so you can get a better angle here. Let's go there. We can get a better angle. And uh, I'm just gonna put some light weight on here. Nothing crazy. I'm just gonna put some fives. You know, just a, some light shoulder work to finish up here. Could do some dips, but I don't wanna overdo it. My muscles are really fatigued. I remember this is my, my third day in a row of lifting. I did really heavy pulling. Um, Yesterday and the day before, because yesterday was leg day, and I did uh, some really heavy RDLs with like 85 pound dumbbells, really heavy. It's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. And, uh, and the day before, I went nuts on back day. I did like five sets with the 80s of one arm rows, all kinds of pulling exercises. I mean, it was a killer, killer pull day. And I had a lot of strength because I had taken some days where I went surfing and running. Anyways. Less talking, more working, right? Let's get back to work. Okay, there we go. Huff, huff, ha, 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 that's good, that's good. That was pretty good, that was pretty good, feels good. Feels good, I got some water here. Oh, more water. A nice day today. Feels really good. The air, like coming in. Maybe one day I'll show you all how pretty it is. For now, we got to get back to work. You know what we need to do now that we've done three sets of these? We're not done. We need to work harder. We need to do some push ups. I'm just gonna drop down and hit 20. If I can. Bad form. That's 10. Why is that an alarm going off? Oh, it's my timer. I set the timer earlier. Okay. All right. Well, that's 10 push ups. That scared me. Let's do 10 more. So weak. No strength, no strength. Just completely killed the muscles. I don't even know if that was 10. Just no strength. I had this student 
a long time.